commercial side are winning uh, American Music Award. Here's the winner. Who's the winner? Who shot Paul? Was nuts to me. I never expected wow. that at all. I never ever um, dreamt that this would ever happen to me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. What's yeah. your most memorable moment since you've been doing this entire career? Is there one thing that stands out to you like, man, that touched my heart or that I can never, you know, I'm grateful for that or something that's most memorable for you? You know, on the commercial side, like winning uh, American Music Award. Here's the winner. Who's the winner? was nuts to me. I never expected that wow. at all. I never ever um, dreamt that this would ever happen to me. That was for the best pop male vocal. Beat Kanye West, beat um, Justin Timberlake. Wow. Um, that was about 2006, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, it's a very surreal moment. However, uh, mo moments like meeting Sleek Rick, Sleek Rick, uh, meeting Buster Rhymes, Shaking their hand, smoking with Snoop. That's hard. Those, those to me are way more valuable of a memory yeah. than me getting this thing. Yeah, it's in my house, it's up there, people look at it and they're like, oh wow. But to me, I never thought I would be able to like just, you know, with, 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 with Flav Flav. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, that's big, right? You see me? Yeah, never. Like, I'm, I'm on, uh, two years ago I did it. The parade, uh, the Macy's Day parade. Okay. So I'm New on York. the truck, on the bus, and I hear somebody go, "Yo, Sean Paul, we love you, bro." <laughs> and I look at his flame. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> no, he's always, he always got a vibe. Bro. And to me, those things, because that's my year. Fight the power. When I was. Mm -hmm. I was. I don't remember how I was. Seventeen years old, and oh, I that was big. That's your banging. I'm like, so just do it. Yeah, that was and, hard. and they they treat me like that when they see me, I'm like meeting and reasoning with KRS One. Man, uh, I want to do that. KRS One, that's a bad boy, man. I, and I, I met that's him. Hip -hop. I met him in in New York in Brooklyn, but also I got to reason with him when we were on a show in Switzerland. Mm. Um, meeting Ice Cube. I was about to ask you, have you ever met him? Yeah, met wow. him. The, amazing. Yeah. To just speak to these Sit people. Sit down and so, the knowledge that yeah, he has. Yeah. Soak it up. And, and speak about just things that are, that are normal, and not, not, you know. And so for me, those instances are just way more staying in the brain and my memory than than winning the... You oh, gonna, so you gonna get in these movies or what? Well, yeah. have been, we need you, baby. We need I don't you. Know, man. We need I you. Never, you think I you have those felt. acting skills? We I need never, you. I we need. <laughs> I, 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 as a kid, like as a teenager, like it would be dope. <laughs> but then I I know I, I have a problem with like like kind of doing that. Somebody sent me a a, 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 a script, script already. Okay. They wanted to be me to be a, a Turkish gangster. I was about to say you be the perfect gangster. <laughs> a Turkish gangster. <laughs> Not Turkish. That did human trafficking. Oh, oh no, no, no. no. We ain't doing that. We <laughs> no. not going there. Right, nah, bro. I can see you being but, a gangster, but not doing that. But the thing is. That when I when that happened to me, and that was 2003 or four, I started to realize I don't want to do that. Okay. It's not just the Turkish gangster thing being a um, trafficker, but it was, I want to be more sincere with my songs and say what I want to say to people, really. Mm. Wow, top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. Top three. That, that's something Any we do. Genre. We about to shut it down. Top three artists of all time, Whoa. dead or alive, from Sean Paul is going down. Whoa. All right. Wow. <laughs> Everybody else, it's hard to cut down. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm going in. Um, it changes. It, it, yeah, it does change. change yeah, too. you never know. It does change, but okay, I'm going to say Bob Marley. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say... For me, just because I'm proud of the dude and what he came and did, that he's still, after all these years, Biggie. Man. Okay. In hip hop, as a Jamaican kid that grew up there in New York, um, he was so smooth with his thing and the word play, word plays, the metaphors. I do got a lot of respect for Tupac, but for me, Biggie is there. Number three. And then, um, number three, you know, 
This one is way out the box. See, that's the that's the that's the one where you have to edge everybody out. This one is way out. <laughs> um, I I want to big up Sir Paul McCartney. Oh, really? that's all. I like Paul. I yeah, like I'm a him. Big, I like Paul because bro, my mom was a Beatles fan and she played all their records to me as a kid. And I just the 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 prolific songwriting they did. And and the melodies and the harmonies that carried with them and just just for that small period of time that they were a band four or five years, it's a nuts to me nuts. Mm. Then he went on and did work with Stevie Wonder that I love and Michael Jackson and just by himself too. So uh, Paul McCartney. Man, so that's a tough top three, man. Yeah, top weird. three of all time, man. Is going. He didn't put Michael Jackson in there, but Michael Jackson <laughs> had the best verse in that Paul McCartney song. Uh, uh, the girl the is girl. mine. <laughs> Which, by the way, by the way, that's what you know. Me and Vega sang "Chill la 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 la." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We wrote it off of that girl. That, is oh mine. yeah, oh, wow. yeah that's I was, the concept I know of that, it for I real. Know that. Yeah, we did it in our style. Right. But I was like, yo, let's do a song like that. He's like, what do you mean? Like, I'm like, we kind of fighting over the girl. And I played the song for him. He said, yeah, I know that song. And That's the concept, He came man. up with the melody for the hook, and then I did the verses. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.